Hey, you zapped in the wrong mortal. We don't need Esme. Uh, excuse me. Sorry, I'll get Father Lonigan. Why do I sense I move without moving? I, I brought you up to the church, Father. Okay, what's going on? Why? I'll explain how do... later, okay? Right now, I just, I need you to baptize Tabitha. She's here, along with uh, Eve and Julian and Miguel and Esme and Dora. I'm sorry. There's no way in hell I will ever baptize that witch. But you don't understand what's at stake here, Father. You have to baptize Tabitha. Okay, you're the one who doesn't understand. For years, I've known... That Harmony has had its own resident evil. That doer of dark deeds is none other than Tabitha Lennox. How do you know that? Alistair Crane told me. Well, it takes one to know one, I suppose. Father, if you knew Tabitha was a witch, why didn't you say something? I thought I could be more effective fighting her evil if she didn't know that I knew. All right, enough backstory. Just baptize her and do it quickly. I will not be party to baptizing a witch. Father, if you don't, Harmony will be destroyed. That's the truth, Padre. The long dormant volcano Mount Harmony is erupting. Father, the lava, it's on its way to the town as we speak. Well, I was just downstairs with Chief Bennett. Neither he nor his officer said anything about Harmony being in the path of molten rock. That's because the dark side has cut off all mortal communication. Father, if you don't baptize Tabitha, we will all be dead before dawn. Don't go. I can't live without you. Teresa, would you stop? Hey, look at me. Look at me. You know, I, you know I love you. But she's my wife. I have to stay with her. Then your marriage is based on lies. There's no proof of it. I have to stay with her. Ethan can never know that Teresa's been right all along, that you and I exposed his paternity to the tabloids. You hear that? Huh? Little Ethan fixed it. Ethan, come on. Come on, let's go. Yeah, come on, you two lovebirds. Hold on, hey, hey, hey. Don't touch me, you bitch. Ethan. Ethan, this... This is the proof. The proof that Gwen and Rebecca added you as a Bennett to the tabloids, not me. You know, I am just shocked by this turn of events. Just, just shocked, I say. Oh, my God, please. You're gonna know everything. We're gonna be together. Oh, God. Okay, play the tape, Chief. I want Ethan to hear everything right now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Where do you think you're going? Uh, my limo's double parked. Yeah, her limo is double Shut parked. Up. You two are going to watch this tape along with the rest of us. This is the miracle I've been praying for. The proof that I needed ever since Gwen burned the original proof in the incinerator at the mansion. Now you're going to hear Gwen, in her own words, admit to everything that she has done to tear us apart. How she has lied to you about me all along. Evil must have possessed you good people to try to trick me, but there is no way I will be a party to baptizing an evil witch like Tabitha. I knew it. All that talk about being baptized is the key to living forever is a load of hogwash. All you mortals are the same, even you, a so-called man of the church. You don't forgive, and you don't forget, and you sure as hell don't practice what you preach. That angry tone? That nasty attitude? It, is that you, Tabitha? No, Padre. It's Mother Teresa. Merciful heaven, how can you, a pawn of the dark side, be in this holy place and not be consumed by fire? Because, Father, blind as a bat, I'm not a witch anymore. <laughs> Lying hag. No, it's true, Father. The other night at the rehearsal dinner when Vicky and Vincent tried to poison everybody with mushroom sauce, Tabitha gave up her powers to save your parishioners. <laughs> and what a stupid mistake that was. I gave up my powers for nothing. 
And now, and now, I get grief from, from the likes of you. The religious rep in harmony, so called. Well, you can stay here and die with the rest of them, because believe me, I am not begging to be baptized. Come on, Endora. I've changed my mind. Zap us out of here. Mm, yeah, and, and, and Fluffy, too. Oh, zap us to us. Precious. Leave these mortals to die. That's exactly what they deserve. Please, God, let the truth finally come out. At least Ivy was dumb enough to keep proof that Ethan was Sam's son at Pilar's house and not in a safety deposit box. Teresa found the proof and scanned it into her laptop, where, from which, we sent it to the tabloids. Mother, I mean, that was genius. Teresa never could explain why she didn't out Ethan as a Bennett when the proof came from her computer. Everyone blamed Teresa for ruining Ethan's life, including Ethan. And Julian divorced Ivy, allowing me to marry my pookie and get my hands on all that delicious crane money. I mean, who knew that J.T. Cornell kept digging into Ethan and Teresa's lives, eventually expanding his excavation to where he had dirt on half of Harmony? Which I helped him blackmail. It was J.T. who found out that Ethan, not Julian, was little Ethan's father. Teresa finally got the truth out of him in Rome, but she was afraid to tell Ethan after she'd lost custody of Jane. Once we found out, we used Teresa's fear of losing Ethan against her so she'd keep on keeping quiet. It wasn't until she got uppity about telling Ethan the truth that we went back to JT's handy-dandy USB stick and found dirt on Pilar. Who would have thought that Pilar, the saint of harmony, killed a man and was responsible for his children being murdered in front of their mother? That fact gave us absolute power over Pilar and Teresa. Threatening to unleash Juanita Vasquez on those low-life Lopez Fitzgeralds kept Teresa's yap shut about little Ethan being Ethan's son. Teresa couldn't even tell Ethan that their son could donate part of his liver to save your son with Ethan. I mean, I loved how Teresa made herself look mean and selfish to Ethan while we were looking for a donor. I was so proud of how you handled that whole thing, honey. And it worked. Teresa was too selfless to let an innocent child die, so she tarnished herself in Ethan's eyes to secretly save Jonathan. Going to Mexico to reason with Juanita afterwards was vintage Teresa. Only that doe-eyed little dunce would think she could make peace with the rabid bitch who ran the Mexican mob. The rest, as they say, is history. Not only are we forcing Teresa to stay disguised as Gertrude so Ethan will recommit to you, Juanita is headed to Harmony to kill Pilar's entire family, including in-laws and close friends. You'll email me the funeral notices, won't you, Mother? With pleasure. No. You were willing to let Pilar and her whole family be killed? You know, I always knew you had no scruples. But to be an accessory to murder? What? I never killed anybody. I mean, okay, there was the time that Eve drank that poison punch, but she didn't die, and then now you've... Oops. Uh, never mind. Juanita almost killed Mama and Teresa in Mexico. If she hadn't been caught tonight, she would have killed us all including Mama's grandchildren. You know how losing Marty changed me and how desperate I was to get him back and all the horrible things I did to Luis and Fancy after that. Yet you were still willing to let my son die just to get Ethan back. You bitch! You know, you guys are so missing the point here, okay? Juanita never would have found any of you if Teresa hadn't gone down to Mexico. Exactly. I mean, that is what opened the door for Juanita to track down Pilar and her family here in Harmony. Not anything that my mother and I did. So you wouldn't you admit it? You admit that you lied to me all these years? You revealed my true paternity. You did it. Yeah. And you kept Teresa from me. And you were willing to let our son. Our son died just so you could hold on to me and to top it all off you were willing to let Pilar and her whole family be slaughtered just so you and I could have a nice happy ending 
with Jonathan? How nice that would have been, right? Gwen, you are an evil bitch. Ethan, I am not evil. I am your wife. I love you, you love me, and you have got to believe me when I tell you I didn't do anything to hurt anyone, especially Teresa and her family. That's right. How can I believe you, hmm? After everything I heard on that tape, how am I supposed to believe you ever again? Dab it up, wait, wait. Please don't go. Please stay and, and get baptized. Timmy said it's the only way to save Harmony, and he would never lie. <laughs> Timmy's honesty is not in question. It's some people's holier-than-thou attitude that's a problem. Tabitha, I owe you an apology. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, Tabs, listen to what the Padre has to say. I'm sorry, Tabitha. I had no idea that you would embrace goodness. That you had sacrificed your evil powers to save those people at the rehearsal dinner. I hope you'll... Accept my apology for judging you so harshly. Timmy would want you to. <sighs> All right, Father. I accept your apology. Good. Okay, now will you baptize Sabatha? <sighs> no, I won't. I hate you and Rebecca. Ethan, how can you hate us for something that is not our fault? Oh, my God. What are you talking about? We never said any of what was on that tape. We didn't? I, I yeah, I mean, we, um, uh, we didn't. Come on. How do you explain the tape, then, hmm? It's really simple. It is? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it is so simple. <laughs> oh, this should be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why don't you do us a favor? And tell us how a tape that has you and Rebecca admitting to everything that Teresa said you did for over a decade isn't true, huh? Ethan, the tape is obviously a fake. That's impossible. Really? It's a fake, and I can prove it. How? Huh? Ethan, think about it. Little Ethan is practically a high-tech genius, okay? He hates me. He hates having me as a stepmother, so he must have taped my mother and I talking at different times and edited it together. No doubt with Teresa's help so that it would look like my mother and I were admitting to ruining Teresa's life. Ah, that is exactly what happened. What a crock. Completely. Ethan, you even said yourself that on that tape, my mother and I admitted to everything Teresa ever accused us of doing. Doesn't that sound a little convenient to you? I mean, even when a murderer confesses there are holes in the story, this, this is, this is all wrapped up really, really neatly, I mean, a little bit too neatly. And why? Why is that? Because it's a fake. Little Ethan made it up with Teresa's help. I don't understand. Why won't you baptize Tabitha, Father? Yeah, she sacrificed her very essence to save people's lives the other night. I mean, the threat to harmony is, is real. Father, we saw the volcano erupting in a magic bowl. Eve, have you been drinking again? No. Popping pills? No. Smoking weed. Oh, no. I will vouch for Eve's veracity. I saw Harmony's long dormant volcano erupting. Yes, the lava's already consumed my house. Luckily, I just sold it. <laughs> the point is, you have to baptize Tabitha in order to save Harmony. I hear you, Andorra. I didn't say I wasn't going to baptize your mother. I said I couldn't, not yet anyway. Why not? First, I have to hear Tabitha's confession. After that, I'll happily baptize her. Hear my confession? Oh, that could take some time, Father. You can't believe her, even you can't. Mom's right. How could we fake anything? It was on Grandpa's camera after he taped Kay and Miguel getting married. You know what he's right. 
I guess police skills run in family. <laughs> I believe my son. Ethan, please. I believe, ha- I believe my son. I don't think the tape is a fake. Ethan, please. Oh, Ethan. Here. Here. Hey, congratulations, you two. Yeah, it's about Thank time. Yeah, huh? it sure is. Good afternoon, adios. And welcome to the family sports. <laughs> Teresa. Yes. I'm sorry that I believed Gwen and Rebecca over you all those years. It's obvious you love my son more than your own life, and so how could I not love you for that? Can we have your blessing? It's long overdue. Welcome to the family. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you, baby. I promise you, I'm going to be good to Ethan. Oh, I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> so, <laughs> is this really happening? I mean, we're going to be together? Yeah. Okay. We are going to have a family with little Ethan and Jane and Jonathan as well. What? You're an unfit mother. I don't want you raising my son. She will raise my son. It's as simple as that. So after all these years, the dream has finally come true. (laughs) (laughs) No, Ethan, you cannot be with her. I mean, you can't. Gwen, stop it. No, I'm not going to stop it, Sheridan. Ethan says that I lied to him. Well, I mean, damn it, Teresa lied to him, too. What makes her better than me, Ethan? I mean, my God, she didn't tell you that little Ethan was your son. And she said that I stopped her. Will you tell me what kind of threat stops a good mother from doing the right thing? Now, as usual, she put her needs ahead of yours and your son's. Gwen, if that were true, why would I let little Ethan give up part of his liver to save your son? You just, you know, you just always have an excuse for everything. Apparently, so do you. Paloma, your sister tried to kill me more than once. She killed my baby Sarah and my unborn child with Ethan. No, I didn't, Gwen. Sarah's death was an accident. And Dr. Russell was the one who chose which embryo to lose to save the other. You know, that's just more lies and excuses from you, because it never stops. It does now, because uh, you're under arrest. What? For you what? You too, Rebecca. What? what? Library. Blackmail, accessory to the murder of Polar's sister and nephews. What? Wait, wait, wait a minute, that... Oh, never mind, but at least if you're going to take me to jail, will you promise to strip search me? Oh, will you shut up? What? I can have a little fun. You know, it is my constitutional right to be strip searched by a handsome arresting officer. Oh. In what country, Rebecca? Sludistan? Oh. Sam, you cannot arrest us in connection with murders that happened in Mexico because it is outside of your jurisdiction. Fine. I'll detain you until the DA reviews your involvement with Juanita and her plans to blow up this church and kill everyone in it. Gwen, you ask me why I choose Teresa. I think you just got your answer. Damn it! (sighs) The volcano's at it again! The lava must be getting closer. Hurry, Father. Hear Tabitha's confession so you can baptize her. I thought people were baptized first and then you hear their confession afterwards. That's normal procedure for people. Tabitha, until recently, was a witch. Something tells me I need to hear her confession first so I can absolve her of sin. Then I'll happily baptize her. Fair warning, Padre. My confession may take a while. My first misdeeds were back in B.C. Merciful heaven. Oh, thank you, Indora. <laughs> well, brace yourself, Father. Are you ready? Because I was one busy witch. Are you okay? 
Tabitha's confession. I, I may never recover. <clears throat> Get a grip, Father. If you don't baptize her, Harmony's going to go the way of Pompeii. Yeah, Father, it's Buck Up will be burned up. <sighs> True. My. What now? Uh, Gwen and Rebecca are in handcuffs and not for fun. It looks like Teresa and Ethan are back together. What did we miss? A lot. Ethan and I are finally going to be together. <laughs> for keeps this time. That's right. Gwen and Rebecca's secrets were exposed, so now all of my children are with their heart's desire to live out their lives in happiness. Well, I hate to be a downer, but I don't think any of us are going to live out our lives in happiness if Tabitha isn't baptized and fast. Mount Harmony erupted and the lava's headed right towards town. How can that be? I mean, aside from the red glow coming from Mount Harmony and the earthquakes, I mean, everything was quiet. Well, that strange glow is lava headed right towards us. Hurry, Father, baptize Tabitha before we all die! What? Baptize Tabitha? Uh, did we miss something? Oh, people you don't even know. in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, it didn't work. Harmony is toast. No, Miguel, just wait. Goodness probably just needs some time to prevail over these centuries of evil. We're confused. Yeah, totally. Okay, for all of you who were in the basement, listen up. Tabitha was a witch. Huh? Yeah. But, uh, she sacrificed her powers to save all of you from Vincent and Vicky's poison mushroom sauce. Tabitha and Julian's daughter, and Dora is also a witch, but a good witch. My niece? My half-sister? No, try not to interrupt. <laughs> Kay is a witch, too. What? So much for interrupting. Whoa. Mom, Mom had powers, remember? And um, Charity had powers, and so did her mother Faith. And I, I have powers too. All the Standish women do, and Jessica has them, but she just never uses them. Sorry, so uh, does Maria have powers too? Probably. Yeah. Anywho, uh, now you all know the basics, so we'll do a little Q&A when all this comes down. I fear it would be buried by tons of pumice by then. Oh, just have faith, Julian, okay? Timmy said everything was going to be okay. Mother of Pearl. I think the volcano has stopped erupting. Timmy was right. Bab Tarzan Tabitha saved our lives. Happiness born of God's love. Thank 
thank you, Timmy. There was forgiveness even for me. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Awesome. Oh, Tabitha. Your salvation has been our salvation. So, now there's only good magic in harmony. No more demons, no more evil. What about the cranes? A father is dead, and uh, with him the evil that drove his empire. From now on, crane industries will only do good. Promise? Well, how could I do evil? Sweet and Dora is my daughter. I'm proud to say she is the strongest good witch in this dimension and every other dimension. Okay, redemption or not, I really need a drink. I'm way ahead of you, honey. What? What's happening? I feel it too. Okay, what is this? Oh, it's polyester. Oh, what cruel punishment! Oh, I think this is God's way of saying, clean up your axe. Good one. Thank you. Oh. You know, the last time I actually wore anything this tacky is when Gwen and I took a trip to Vegas a few years back. Um, what are you talking about? Don't you remember our trip? No. Well, you were upset about Ethan and Teresa for the millionth time, and uh, so I thought I'd take you to Vegas to take your mind off of it, and, well, you ended up marrying that guy you met. Okay, seriously? You told me that was a dream. No! No, it really happened. You were married by this Asian Elvis impersonator. Well, then who divorced me? Who divorced you? I... Oh, I knew I forgot something. What? How could you? Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! So, wait a minute here. If Gwen was married and she never got a divorce, then her marriage to you is null and void. Exactly. I don't even need an annulment. We can get married right now. Damn it! Um, excuse me. My new sister-in-law, who happens to be a good witch. Can you, uh, hocus-pocus these two off to go mop something? Ooh. Happy cleaning, ladies. Oh, thanks. Nice job. Father, I think now's a great time for Teresa and me to get married. I'd be honored to. Will everyone please take their seats? And we'll nail this sucker. <laughs> yes, Endora? What's she doing? Oh, my God, I can see. Oh, Father, oh, that's wonderful. That's fantastic, Father. <laughs> You're all just as I imagined you. <laughs> and you, you haven't aged a day. And you, Endora, you are such a good witch. Thank you. Thank you, and God bless you. He did indeed. God forgives all those who come to him. I'm Father. <laughs> father, there's a couple here that's dying to get married. Yes, well, then let's get on with it. <laughs> oh, um, uh, Father, you know my dress is... Oh, that's, that's not a problem. Thank you. Thank you. 
Having a witch in the family? That's going to be some fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm okay with it, too. Yeah. Better late than never, I guess. <laughs> oh, yes. Almost perfect. If only my little... Oh, never mind. I'll settle for almost perfect. <laughs> Oh, my precious child. after the wedding, but I don't know. Now seems like the right time. Okay. Um, I'm pregnant, Luis. We're gonna have a baby. What? Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Oh my God, this is so amazing. <laughs> yes, someday. Oh, no, that's right. I love you so much, Antonio. Can't wait to have your children. At least we're waiting to have babies to we're a little more financially viable. <laughs> that was the plan. What do you mean, was? Paloma, are you pregnant? Are you angry? Angry? I'm ecstatic. That's great. Come here. Mm. There's finally harmony in harmony. Yes, all's quiet on every front. <laughs> and I do mean every front. Oh, Julian, about that. Julian, everybody knows. Your member is messed up after Vicky chopped it off mm. and Eve reattached it backwards when she was drunk. Yeah, and you know, if you want me to, I can fix it. Oh my gosh, you can. Oh. I mean, that would be a very lovely thing to do, Kate. Even I would be most grateful. Okay, just give me your hand. I do believe my member is up in good standing again. Thank yes. you. Yes, yes. Thank you, Kay. You're welcome. Oh, Timmy. You were right, lad. God's love is heavenly. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, Join right hands and declare your consent before God and his church. Is um, this really happening? This is not like our fantasy laid out as reality, is it? No. Oh. This is reality. Uh, part of me keeps thinking that something's going to happen to interrupt us, you know, before we have to get married. <laughs> what could possibly stop us now? I don't... Stop the wedding! You had to ask. I'm sorry, ladies, you're too late. What? 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 Everybody else here has got a happy ending. Why can't we have one, too? If you're sincere about being good, you can. I am. Yeah, and me too. Oh, here's my happy ending. Well, well, what about me? Well, I 
don't want to say forward, but I uh, always had a thing about bad girls gone good. What do you say we get to know each other a little better once you get out on bail? Oh, well, that would, um, I'd really like that. It's a date. That must be our last interruption. Help! What, Esme, what's wrong? I'm out of booze and on the brink of sobriety. <laughs> well, hurry up and get married so that we can pop another bottle. <sighs> I hear that. <laughs> I, Ethan, take you, Teresa, as my lawfully wedded wife. Having to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do us part. I, Teresa, take you, Ethan, to be my lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do us part. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ethan, you may kiss your bride. years, I have learned one thing for sure. Always follow your passion. Because that and that alone will lead you to your happy ending. I would hold the hand of the one who could leave the places And kiss the lips of the one who could sing so sweet Oh, a plan to be blue.